Many film amateurs make do with silent films because they're not aware how much more worthwhile and lively their films can be with accompanying sound, and most likely because they still regard adding sound to their films as being complicated. It is by no means complicated. It's actually quite simple to add sound to your films with a UMIG Mark S sound projector, which has been produced as the result of many years of development and the most up-to-date techniques, researched and brought to being by the largest manufacturers of sound projectors in the world, UMIG of Vienna. Let us choose a projector from the wide range of models available and add sound accompaniment to a film. The very few operating controls required are clearly and distinctly arranged. A central switch for all projection functions. Precision knob for fine focusing of the zoom lens. Volume control. Red recording button which is depressed for sound recording. Mixing control enabling speech or other sound to be blended in with a musical record. Input socket for microphone and other sound sources. The size of the projected picture is simply adjusted by rotating the lens zoom ring. Your photo retailer can advise you on the magnetic strip you require on your processed film. This is the first step to a perfect sound film. For the second step, in addition to the UMIG Mark S projector, you will require a sound source such as a record player, or a cassette recorder, or a tape recorder, or quite simply a radio. Any one of these sound sources is suitable. In our case, a record player. The UMIG Universal re-recording lead is used to connect it with the Mark S projector. By operating the central switch and pressing down the threading key, your film runs automatically onto the take-up reel. Now the sound recording begins. You start the record player. Press the red recording button. The red control light indicates that recording is in progress. And switch to forward projection. Turn the mixing control fully to the right. The music from the disc is then recorded onto the soundtrack of your film and provides an ideal musical background to the picture. After recording the musical background, stop the projector and rewind the film to the beginning. And now, so simply, the sophisticated blending of speech or sounds into the background music. For this, the microphone is connected to the UMIG Mark S. Hold the microphone like this for speech. Turn the mixing control fully to the left. Should you wish to add a short commentary to your film, turn the mixing control to the right to about four on the scale. What you now say into the microphone will be recorded onto the soundtrack of your film. The previously recorded music is attenuated into the background, and your speech recording comes out clearly and distinctively in the foreground. At the end of your commentary, simply turn the mixing control back to the left. With this control setting, the mixing procedure with simultaneous attenuation of the first recording comes to an end. The original recording regains its original sound level. For subsequent mixing and subduing of background music, turn the mixing control to the right, speak the commentary, and then return the control to the left-hand position. It's as simple as that.
you will have noticed that a second yellow control light indicates that the mixing control is ready for operation. You may have been looking for an automatic recording control. This is not visible, but is incorporated in the sound recording system by the world famous UMIC technique to give optimal results and clearest tone. Sound recording on film with UMIC. It's quite simple and great fun. This is a grand prospect. So take this opportunity of making your first sound film with UMIC high quality sound. <laughs>